Kate Middleton looked delighted today as England defeated Fee in the Rugby World Cup quarter-finals to book her place in the semi-finals. The Princess of Wales, 41, continued her new style of dressing for D-Day, choosing a £30 white blazer from Zara, which she has previously worn. Kate, who was seen singing the national anthem at the Marseille Stadium, may have been the Red Rose's lucky charm after overseeing their stunning opening round win over Argentina at the same stadium. Welcome to Royal Experts, if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any news about the British royal family. England fared better than Wales, who lost to Argentina yesterday while Prince William and George cheered on. George who appears to have shown his loyalty to Wales, did not make the trip today. Instead, Kate was joined by Belle Beaumont, president of the World Rugby Union, and Rob Bryars, president of the Russian Football Union. The princess was joined by tens of thousands of England fans who took over the sunny city today. Supporters invaded the bars lining the streets leading to the Stade de Velodrome dressed as jockeys as they wanted Steve Borthwick's men to do the job. They were seen singing hit songs including Sweet Caroline as the idyllic French town turned English for just one day. The Red Roses stepped up their game to defeat the Flying Fijians, who beat them at Twickenham earlier this year. But among those who supported them to carry out the mission were Blair Sills, 60, and his son Seb, 20, who came dressed as knights for the epic battle. Before the match, Mr. Sales, who has worn the same kit at the last three World Cups, said, I think we will do it today, we have to do it against Fiji. If we get the right crowds we should win, added Seb, who travelled with his father from Bath. Debbie Harris and Mike Taylor dressed as Knuckles McGinty from Paddington 2 will hope England puts the Fijians on lockdown. I expect England to run it today, and I think they will, Taylor said. Bradley Webster, 38, and friends James Chappell, 43, and Nigel Wilson, 58, dressed as Fijians in Hawaiian clothing but believe Red Roses will win. I think it's going to be tight, but we'll do it. Mr. Chappell said. England are the only nation remaining in the competition after Wales and Ireland were eliminated last night. But the Fijians were looking for an upset with Isaili Faulado Saija, 42, and Waisi Bogan Isoki, 40, travelling all the way from the Pacific Island for the match. The team was surprised by Portugal last week after a good series of matches. Mr. Faulado Siga said, this is different, this is the quarter-final. It's do or die. I think we will do it, but hopefully the best team will win. It comes after Prince George made an animated display while watching Wales and Argentina play in the Rugby World Cup quarter-final. The ten-year-old royal travelled to France with Prince William to cheer on Wales at Marseille on Saturday, matching up nicely with his father. The outing was the youngster's first time watching an international sporting match in person of abroad, and he certainly made the most of it. Thanks for watching till the end.